So today we're going to be using proportions to solve for a percent proportion problem. So this question asks us, 45 is 18 percent of what number? Pretty simple, not a word problem, it's straightforward. So we know that if we're comparing two amounts, that we need to set up a ratio. So in this case, what we're comparing is a part to a whole or total. So the tricky part about this proportion is going to be figuring out is 45 the part or is it the whole? Because that way we know where to put it in our ratio and what we're going to have to solve for. Okay, so 45 is 18 percent. 45 is not 100 percent. 45 is 18 percent. This tells me that 45 is a part because 18 is a part, right? We know that percents are always out of 100. So I know that if I have 18% of something, that that is a part, right? So I put it on the top with my part, whereas 100 goes on the bottom with the whole. So 45 is a part, which means that the numerator, the top number, needs to be 45, which means that we are looking to figure out what is this number. So 45 is 18 percent of what number? And that number, since we don't know what it is, we used a variable to represent it and we used the variable x, right? So it's the whole and we don't know what it is. So now that we have our proportion set up, we've identified that 45 was a part all we need to do is solve for x. There's a lot of ways you could solve. Today we're going to be doing the skill of cross multiplying. So that's where all I'm doing is I'm multiplying across 18 times x is equal to, multiply the other way, 45 times 100. 18 times x, we can rewrite as 18x is equal to 45 times 100 is going to give me 4,500. All right, so now I'm down to what we call a one-step equation. It's a one-step equation because we're only doing one math operation over here. We're just multiplying 18 times some number. We don't know what the number is, which is why we have an x. All right, so if I'm multiplying that means I'm doing multiplication, and the inverse of multiplication is going to be division. So if you want, you can make a do, undo chart over here to help with your inverse operations. If I'm doing multiplication, the opposite, the inverse is going to be to divide. So that means I need to divide both sides, because whatever you do to one side of an equation, you need to do to the other so that they stay equal going to divide both sides by 18. Now I don't want to make my work messy so I'm going to go over here off to the side again and set up my division problem. 18 doesn't go into 4. 18 goes into 45 twice. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. 15 take away 6 is 9, and 3 take away 3 is nothing. Now I'm going to bring down my 0. How many times does 18 go into 90? Ooh, I don't know, so I'm going to have to guess and check. I know if 18 times 2 is 36, it's probably going to be about 4 or 5 times. Oh, look at that. 5 times 1 is 5, plus, one plus 4 is 9. It goes in exactly five times. Take away 90, I'm left with nothing. Sometimes people miss problems like this because they forget that they need to bring down the last zero. So if you get your answer of just 25 and you didn't bring down that zero, you're wrong. How many times does 18 go into zero? It goes into zero, zero times, which means that 4,500 divided by 18 is equal to 
and 50. And 18 divided by 18 is equal to 1, so we just have our 1x over here. And there we have our solution to our problem. x is equal to 250, which means that, let's go back to our original question, 45 is 18% of 250. There we go. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.